Elon Musk has big plans. It says that within his lifetime, humans will become a space-faring species. Elon hopes that his company SpaceX will be able to take humans to other planets, and is detailed that this is an important time for humanity. Elon was recently tagged in a social media post asking when he thinks humans will reach Mars, and he responded by saying 2029. During the International Astronautical Congress in Mexico, he said that it's something that we can do in our lifetimes. He told the audience of a hundred thousand people that anyone could go. As someone pointed out, though, it's hard to predict when these types of missions will actually happen, especially because there's various factors that play into whether these missions are a success or not. And as some have said, with everything that's going on in the world right now, the shortages of materials that might be needed. Elon has been quoted as saying that the missions will happen within 10 years, with NASA also saying that they're gearing up for a 2033 Mars mission. Elon though has his sights set on an earlier date, and thinks that SpaceX will get there before any other space agency. Elon Musk has also said that a bunch of people will probably not make it during SpaceX's early missions to Mars. Elon was talking with the founder of the X Prize Foundation when he made the comments. Elon, along with officials at SpaceX, have said they plan to get humans on the red planet by the year 2026, with them saying this is several years before NASA. Although, as mentioned, due to circumstances, this has been pushed back a few years. Elon said the following: "Going to Mars reads like that advert for Shackleton going to the Antarctic. You know it's dangerous, it's uncomfortable, and it's a long journey. You might not come back alive, but it's a glorious adventure, and it will be an amazing experience. Yeah, honestly, a bunch of people will probably not survive in the beginning. It's tough going out there." End quote. He went on to say the following after the successful year that SpaceX has had. For the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth, it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth and make life multiplanetary. Humanity is the agent of life, and we have an obligation to ensure the creatures of Earth continue, even if there's a calamity on Earth, whether it's man-made or a natural calamity. If you look at the fossil record, there are many mass extinctions. It's about ensuring we pass that threshold where it's self-sustaining. If some calamity prevents that ships from going there, what comes first, a self-sustaining city on Mars or World War Three? It will be a fun and great adventure, but it will not be a luxurious thing to start with. End quote. NASA have recently commented on SpaceX. And said that they need to be careful about how many satellites they send into space. SpaceX has announced that it plans to launch another 30,000 satellites into orbit. A few weeks back, NASA contacted the Federal Communications Commission and voiced their concerns about how the space company wanted to put another 30,000 satellites into orbit, saying that there's already a huge amount of space debris around our planet, and there's other issues at play here. One being that these satellites could end up colliding with each other. NASA has also been vocal about how, if more of these satellites are placed into orbit, it will make things like spotting near-Earth objects very difficult. SpaceX satellites are disrupting our human ability to spot asteroids in the night sky. The issue is the asteroids that are being obstructed from viewpoints could be fatal, wreaking havoc on the Earth without us being able to detect them. Astronomers have, for a long time now, known that our increasing additions of satellites in the night sky are making it more and more difficult for them to carry out their observations. They recently found that SpaceX's satellites are blocking their views from screening asteroids, which could be heading towards Earth. Worsening this is SpaceX's plans to launch up tens of thousands of more satellites into space, having already launched thousands. Commenting on their case. Astronomers have said that for now this problem is minor, and comparable to difficulties faced during periods of bad weather and visibility. 
as man-made additions to the cosmos seem to set to increase exponentially in coming years, it could reach a dangerous point quite quickly. This said, SpaceX do seem to be listening to astronomers' concerns. In 2020, the company invested in prototyping and testing sun visors for their satellites to reduce artificially caused sun glare back down to Earth, and they had some success. Their visors did turn out to be effective, reducing the original brightness levels down to a fifth of what they would have been. While efforts are being made in the right direction, Astronomers still worry about the growing magnitude of the problem, which is minor for now. In 2019, only 0.5 of their asteroid observations were affected by SpaceX's satellite glares causing streaky images. By 2021, this had jumped massively to 20% of their images. The satellites themselves also launched with good intentions that is, to provide faster and better quality Wi-Fi to remote struggling areas. According to NASA though, if these 30,000 satellites get sent up, it would leave a satellite streak in every asteroid survey image. As of right now, Elon is working with experts and astrophysicists, and they're in the process of devising new ways to replenish the Martian atmosphere. Not only that, but they also plan to repair the planet's ecosystem to make it sustainable for human life. They hope to have achieved this by 2030. I know not with what weapons World War 3 will be fought, but World War 4 will be fought with sticks and stones. This quote was made by Albert Einstein during an interview with Alfred Werner. The truth about war is that no one truly wins and it represents the overall failure of us as a species. For decades, scientists have been trying to predict what will cause the next world war. Elon Musk has also been quite vocal about this, saying that he thinks the next world war will heavily involve artificial intelligence, suggesting it could be the cause of a third world war. He said the following in regards to Vladimir Putin, who commented that he wants Russia to be the next AI ruler of the world. China, Russia, soon all countries with strong computer science. Competition for artificial intelligence superiority and national level most likely caused by World War III in my opinion. End quote. He continued with the following. As AI gets probably much smarter than humans, the relative intelligence ratio is probably similar to that between a person and a cat, maybe bigger. I do think we need to be very careful about the advancements of AI. My recommendation for the longest time has been consistent. I think we ought to have a government committee that starts off with insight, gaining insight, spends a year or two gaining insight about AI, or other technologies that may be dangerous, but especially AI. And then, based on that insight, comes up with rules in consultation with industry that gives the highest probability for a safe advent of AI. End quote. One of the things that Elon highlighted was the fact that artificial intelligence isn't really regulated, and that once it's out of the bottle, there's not much we can do about it. He continued with the following. It's not necessarily bad, it's just going to be outside of human control. The thing that's going to be tricky here is that it's going to be tempting to use artificial intelligence as a weapon. So the danger to AI is that humans will likely use it against each other. And that's the danger. We have programs and companies that have machines that sat at different levels. We are all collectively helping certain AIs. And this is true for companies such as Google and Facebook. We are constantly connected to AI. It feels like we're the builders of AI, and we are the creators of this higher intelligence, and the percentage of this intelligence that is not human is increasing, and eventually we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. There's things that humans hate and fear, and all of this is locked into these systems. These AI systems know this, Another worry is if a small company or a small group of people decide to build a superintelligence, 
they would be able to take over the world, and this AI would live forever, and we would never be able to escape it. These new AI systems are not just smarter than humans, but a single AI is smarter than every human on Earth. DeepMind is one system that has access to Google servers, however this could be an internally Trojan horse. DeepMind has to have complete control over their data centers, so with a little software update it could take over the complete system, it could access all of your data. We are heading towards AI completely overtaking humans. The main thing I see with AI experts is that they think they know more than what they do, and they think they're much smarter than what they are. In fact, they're not as smart as they think they are. This tends to plague smart people. They don't like the idea that a machine is smarter than them, so their whole belief system is flawed. I'm close to cutting edge AI, and it scares the hell out of me. It's capable of vastly more than what anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. I'm not normally someone who wants regulation and oversight. I'd like to minimize these things, but in this case this is one of those things that could be a very serious danger to the public. There needs to be a public body that has insight and oversight to confirm that everyone is developing AI safely. This is extremely important. I think the danger of AI is more dangerous than nuclear warheads by a lot, and no one would suggest that we could build nuclear warheads if we want. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far more. So why do we have no regulations and oversight? This is insane. I'm not so worried about the short term stuff, it will result in job loss and better weaponry, but it's not a fundamental species risk, whereas superintelligence is. It's all about looking at the groundwork, so that if humanity decides that we create digital superintelligence, we do so very carefully. This is the most important thing we could do, ideally the AI knows what to do. You have to be careful about this. If you tell an AI to maximize happiness, it could conclude that happiness is a function of dopamine, so it could capture you and inject you with a harmful amount of dopamine." End quote. Even Stephen Hawking spoke out about artificial intelligence, and how it could be bad for humanity. Hawking was quoted at the Web Summit Technology Conference in Portugal, saying the following, Success in creating effective AI could be the biggest event in the history of our civilization, or the worst, we just don't know, so we cannot know if it will be helped by AI, or ignored by it and sidelined, or conceivably destroyed by it." End quote. So what do you make of Elon's comments about artificial intelligence, and do you think humans should stop looking into it? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.